talking to Benny Ricardo, who's here at BYB, but more importantly, you will know him if you're an NFL fan. This is the man, so many years playing at the top level. Tell us who you played for and what your strength was. Uh, my strength? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> but basically my resume was, uh, I used to have to get it up as quickly as possible, keep it up as long as possible, and put it right down the middle I couldn't score. So you were a kicker? They named the game after me. It's called football, Tommy. <laughs> football. And then that's, that's me. And you know what? I was the most important guy on the team because they can't start the game without me kicking. If I don't kick, they can't start the game. It's just that simple. Man, that's so big I, time. It is big time. <laughs> so that's why I play for the Detroit Lions, Minnesota Vikings, uh, New Orleans Saints, and the San Diego Chargers. So not only that, I mean, you're involved in a lot of things now, aren't you? I mean, you've got, you, you do comedy, all sorts of things. I mean. Well, you know, it's, I, you know, anything to not have a job. So I've never had a job and I figure I keep on going. And that way you can, can't retire from anything because if you never had a job, what well, you can retire from. So I went into, basically the, the transition was the following. People asked me, you know, like, you know, is comedy tough? I said, well, think about it. I've been booed by 80,000 people on a football field. That didn't bother me. What's a couple of hundred at a comedy club? And that's what it boils down to. And being a little guy in a world of giants, I had to rely on my wit. Yeah. And I had to be very, very quick. So all the guys out there used to be terrified of me because of the stuff that I would come up. And, you know, the quick wit was a tremendous, tremendous tool. How successful in the NFL were you? Um, I, got a, I got a pension. Does that make me successful? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and about five wives are going to take a piece of that. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm a little like you, Tommy. I mean, you know, when you get married five times, I always ask myself, you know what? I'm beginning to think it's me. <laughs> I think we've got a good point. Um, but now you're here at BYB. You're yes. going to be doing the Spanish commentary yes. with Claudia, the wonderful Claudia. Um, do you like BKB? Do you like the bare knuckle boxing? You know what? From the, I, I was a street fighter back in Paraguay. And yeah. the way we used to do it in Paraguay was one corner against another corner, block against block. Yeah. And you went in there and you, you do it. Neighborhood rivalry. Yeah. And so, you know, when, when uh, they came to me, when they were talking about, you know, we're trying to bring this back after 130 years, and this is in America. And then I started doing my research. I, I learned about Lenny McLean and all the other yeah. fighters and the great tradition yeah. that they've had in England with bare knuckle. And this has been ongoing for quite some time. And you guys know how to do yeah. it and all those things, and I became fascinated with it. So then when I got the opportunity to do the very first one, and I did BKFC first, yes. and I worked with David and stuff, and, and I just thought it was amazing, because at, at the beginning I thought, you know, this could be a train wreck, because one, you know, broken hand, the fight's over. Gone. So you could have some very, very quick, and you know, if you look at BYB, it's a 90% KO percentage. Yeah, for sure. So there's a lot of knockouts, but then, you know, to me, after seeing that, and then seeing this surface, you know, the trigon. I came up with a saying, you it's a trigon. You better try or you're gone. <laughs> that was my the saying <laughs> that I came up with. Yeah. And so basically, you know, when you have that, when you take it, a ring and you got uh, 20 by 20 by 20 by 20, and you take out 120 out of it, now you got three. So you got no place to run. No place to hide. And there's no place to hide and you can't, you don't have to chase anybody. They are right there. And, you know, if you think about it, I've done, what, 558 world championship fights on TV. Wow. And, the, you know, so often you get to fight with these guys that are grabbing, they're hugging. And I thought, my God, the MGM has 2,000 rooms. Get a room. Leave the <laughs> ring for some guys that want to fight. But that's the way it is. But here in Bare Knuckle, you don't have that. He's Benny Ricardo. He's top man. He's funny as, but he knows this. <laughs> sport and he knows BKB combat sports or be in sports watch it don't miss it <laughs>